I spent $60 on dolls. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is now officially summer. Hello. So I went to Disneyland and I bought two dolls and they were $60. Both of them together with tax was 60. That's a horrible price. Oh. I bought Rapunzel and Alice, but I'm gonna start with Rapunzel. Okay, here we have Rapunzel. She is beautiful. It says Disney Princess Rapunzel, and this is doll brush included. I'm loving this all cardboard packaging, no plastic. Gotta say the artwork is beautiful. There's a Disney logo. Here we have Rapunzel on the side with lanterns. The art is so pretty. The back says Disney Princess Rapunzel with a picture of Rapunzel from the movie. And then the side has a bunch of leaves and swirls, the lanterns, super cute. And then it just opens up from the bottom. I love this like eco-friendly packaging. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, I love Rapunzel, she's adorable. The packaging is awesome, like this is pretty. It's so aesthetically pleasing, like more than the plastic. And you open it by opening up the key from the slot. There we go. Oh, and the background is Rapunzel's kitchen. So cute. Oh, her feet are stuck. I mean, it's it's cardboard. It's so much harder than plastic. Plastic is horrible for the environment. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Oh, okay. Can't forget her brush. All right, here we have Rapunzel. She is adorable. She has a rubber band attached to her hair. I'm just gonna snip that. Perfect. Left a little bit of a dent in her hair, but that should be okay. It'll come out eventually. Oh, her hair is so silky. Okay, so as I was brushing her hair, she's got these little balls of plastic from the factory. That's all right. And um, she's shedding. This happens a lot whenever I buy dolls from the Disney store or Disneyland in general. But um, anyway, here's Rapunzel. She's awesome. Oh my gosh, all that hair. I think she's been brushing it too much. It's starting to fall out. <laughs> Like, just look at this clump. Oof. Anyway, I'm going to start by reviewing the doll. So here we have Rapunzel. Uh, as you can see, she has a new face mold with new face paint. And I must say, she looks so pretty. Love her green eyes and her makeup. And her hair is just so pretty. Her dress. Oh, a little flower. Okay, it's a little, like, um, folded from the packaging. But, you know, it'll come out. It's so cute. She's adorable. I love her dress, the classic Rapunzel dress. And then they did add glitter on the dress, the very bottom. Very nice. It's not, the glitter doesn't seem to come off too much. So, and then she has no shoes because she's Rapunzel. <laughs> and of course, one of Rapunzel's best features is her really long, silky blonde hair. And she looks amazing. So cute. I love her hair. So shiny. I must say that they've been getting better at the hair. Maybe not gluing it in, but the quality is getting a little bit better. And her joints, now her joints are a little stiff, so I had a hard time with this. But she's so adorable. Aww. Yeah, she can move with the elbow, wrist, and she can bend at the knees, and then I can make her sit, although she's sitting a little awkward, so. And here's her brush. It's kind of a pearly, shimmery pink. As you can see, I was brushing her hair with it, uh, and it says Disney Parks, so I did actually get it at Disneyland, but you can also get these at the Disney Store. I just think that um, it doesn't have Disney Parks on it, but you know, it's still cute. And then this Rapunzel is adorable in her background, and you can reuse this and make it a playset, so I like that. Oh, so cute. It's her kitchen. All right, that's it for Rapunzel. Now I'm going to move on to Alice. Here we have Alice. She is awesome. She was the one I originally wanted to get. Here we have a picture of Alice. Pretty much the same packaging. On the side we have a picture of Alice smiling. Leaves in her house. Picture of Alice in the back from the movie. Adorable. Her at the tea party. And then here we have leaves and leaves and flowers. And then it opens the same way as Rapunzel. Super cute. It just opens from the key. Oh, I love how aesthetically pleasing the packaging looks. It's so cute. Let's get you out of here, Alice. These brushes are really stubborn today. <laughs> All right, here we have the lovely Alice in Wonderland. Her hair is so pretty. It's gelled. She's got this beautiful black bow, blue eyes, 
and look at her dress. It reminds me of Belle's blue village dress. And then she's got these like black Mary Janes. And her like range of motion is better than Rapunzel's and her joints aren't very stiff. And she comes with the exact same brush, just in a different color, which is more of a kind of Cinderella one, I guess. And then just like Rapunzel, she can also bend at the knee, so I love that. Although when it comes to the wrist joints, uh, hers is smaller than Rapunzel's, which is kind of odd. But you know, it's still good. Another cool thing about Alice is that she's actually, a, I believe, like three inches shorter than Rapunzel, so... Because in the movie, I think she's like 12. So that's a nice touch. And then here's her background. It's the white rabbit's house. Really cute. I love that. Oh, she's adorable. I'm so glad I got her. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, more videos coming soon. All right, everybody. Goodbye. Thank you.